guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak uh, and Happy New Year. This is my first video in 2022 uh, and I am excited to share with you my new kitchen gadget. It's not a gadget, it's an appliance which I have been meaning to have for such a long time. But since we had the opportunity of doing our kitchen renovation, so I had made a suggestion to my husband I didn't think it was possible for us to have a dishwasher, but he said we could lose uh, a cabin, uh, drawer space and put in a dishwasher of which I jumped in. And I am loving the fact that for the last one week we've had it in and with the results of my dishes being washed, coming sparkling clean, I am so happy. I went with the Bosch. Uh, is a series two and is a uh, SGS two H V one six six G for those who are interested. So uh, without uh, telling you much, let me show you how it looks and the functions. And later on, uh, I do my dishes in the evening, so I just pile them up uh, during the day and then I do them in the evening and then I will show you the results. So let's get on. Uh, so this is the dishwasher. As you can see, it's a Bosch. Uh, why did I decide to go with the Bosch? I already have an appliance. My fridge, which is over 10 years old, is a Bosch. So for me, I chose the Bosch because as a brand, I can trust it. I have the, the, the fridge which has served me is a fridge freezer. It has served me well for the last uh, over 10 years so that's why I decided to go with the same brand because I know I can trust it to do the, the job. Uh, you can see here there is the features on the dishwasher so you have the reset which after you've uh, programmed it it has already run whatever program and it's finished so it usually when you restart when you press start, it usually goes back to the last program that was on there. So this is the reset button and it just takes four seconds and it can start. So these are all the features that are found in this series too. You have the echo which runs on 50 degrees uh, water centigrade. You have uh, the auto which uh, is between 45 and 65 degrees. You have intense. This is for very soiled or hard sticked uh, dishes. So that is intensive, which is washes at 70% and express washes are shorter. It takes uh, an hour and it runs at 65 degrees uh, water and silent uh, is almost exactly as echo, it just runs a little bit longer uh, and it's good because like for us we usually run the washing machine during the night and that way it doesn't make much noise so these are the extra options that you have like if you want uh, for extra drying or you've put uh, have a load or you want um, it to be a perfect speed and obviously you need to also take care of the machine so machine care every once in a while after you've run a few cycles you need to make sure that you are washing the machine run it empty and make sure that it is just cleaning itself as it should and that obviously is your start button so inside the machine as you can see this is a Bosch brand they recommend that you use uh, finished products I am not using finished products on everything. I am using the finished rinsing liquid, but I am using fairy um, tablets. So I will show you later. So this is uh, the place where you put your uh, detergent or tablets, whatever you'll be using. And this is where you put your rinsing uh, liquid. So on here at the bottom, you have where you put your bigger dishes and there is enough space for you to be able to uh, put your 
pans and big plates and such things like that, glassware, um, saucers, such things. On at this end, you have the filter, which after every wash, it is advisable to remove it and run through water so you clean it up so it doesn't clog up and malfunctions your machine. So that is a very important feature. And then on this bit uh, is where you usually need to put pouring your salt, which they recommend two kilos of salt to soften your water, uh, especially if you're having hard water. We do have hard water, so we usually have to put in uh, the salt. And these are your spraying arms. And usually uh, after a few washes, you also need to remove them and just run through the water so that they don't get clogged up. Uh, same as the one which is at the top. So this uh, second shelf is where you put your cups, you put your glasses and everything. This machine is uh, relatively uh, mid medium size for a medium size family like ours. So we do not have too many dish uh, dishes. So that's why we run the, the washing uh, once uh once a day at the top i opted to go for this extra feature this one is for laying up your spoons and all your cutlery um, or silverware and i decided to go with this uh vertical layup rather than the horizontal one because i think it's much more easier to clean than the one which has uh you could have an option of one which uh has a containment where the spoons are and knives are standing and I did not want that one because I did not want uh, the chance to have water still uh, left over so that's why I went with this option so I paid a little bit more for this one so um, that's how the dish washer looks like so um, when I will be loading it uh, at some point during the day and as we go by in the evening then I will run it and I will show you the results of how the dishes will come out eventually. <laughs> platinum uh, one, all in one uh, although I still use the finish uh, for rinsing and shine a this is very helpful because you will see when the dishes will be done they will be actually sparkling clean so I will load, load it in all the dishes that needs to be washed as you can see they are really pretty dirty so those are the cups and the bowls so this is dishes for the whole day since morning so i haven't done any washing other than the things that do not go into the dishwasher so usually put in and then lock and then pouring rinsing liquid and 
now we can be able to reset so this is where it was um, last time so I'm going to choose it to go on silent and it's just pressing so that it just moves to where you need it so it's on silence and it's on 50 degrees uh, water centigrade which is exactly as if it would be on echo the only difference is it's going to take a little bit longer because it's on quiet and you can straight away start or you also have an option of when you would want to start it if you want to preset it for a particular time uh, in the day you can make that choice but I'm just going to start straight away so this is the morning after um, I usually do my dishes in the evening and I am offload in the morning so they're all done let's see how they look so there is the middle shelf and you can see uh, the dishes they look absolutely sparkling clean and you can see the results for yourself so the same as this I am really pleased uh, at the results of me choosing to this one was already chipped has nothing to do with the washing it has it was already chipped long before uh, you can see the glasses they have a nice shine to them yeah and i'm loving uh look how nice and clean and shiny so i am really pleased with the results of this uh dishwasher and with this one you also have the options you can actually uh, be able to remove this and lower the shelf if you want to have like wine glasses which can be a little bit uh, taller than the, your usual glasses so this is uh, the results of uh, the dish you can see everything is absolutely sparkling clean and the shine so yeah if uh, you're thinking of getting a dishwasher like mine i would highly recommend that you think about getting a bosch uh they are different series mine is a series two uh you can get uh even more modern ones high um wi-fi um assisted ones which is even better if you want to start your machine using your uh iphone or uh mobile phone whatever um suits you and whatever kind of uh money you have they are wonderful wonderful machines to buy out there so yeah uh if you enjoyed uh my video please do give me a thumbs up uh make sure you leave a comment let me know uh if you're interested in such videos and uh, i will be doing and reviewing such videos uh even more so uh without further ado i will say thank you very much for stopping by and i do hope to see you in the next one so bye for now